Hello and good Wednesday, October 17th, 2007. I'm Joanne and this is Rocket Boom. Today, field correspondent Steve Garfield looks into the future of transport and interviews one of the lead designers of the next generation of electric cars. Hey, this is Steve Garfield from stevegarfield.com. We're here at Funeral Hall Marketplace. The GM Volt car is here, the electric car, and Bob Boniface, the uh, GM Advanced Design Center general manager is here. All right, Bob, come on in. Now this camera is actually a Canon GL2 and it also runs on battery power. Does it use lithium ion batteries? I think it does. And uh, actually I don't think that this battery has the problem of you know, having to let it run down all the way before you recharge it. How about the GM Volt? How, how was that going to work? Well, um, I'm not the battery guy, I just designed the body, but I, my understanding is that the battery is being designed so that uh, it'll go down only to about a 30% state of charge before the gas motor kicks back on to recharge it. And what they're hoping to do is get a 10-year life cycle out of the battery, so it's, um, it's, it's a good battery. This would be an amazing car to have in a, a science fiction TV series. The, the, the steering wheel is all like stain, like well, metal? What kind of, what is the steering wheel? Well, what that is, that's, a, that's an aluminum substrate with a polycarbonate uh, cast around the outside. So we played a lot with um, innovative material usage, a lot of uh, recycled materials, a lot of, because the whole message of the vehicle has to be a little bit about being green, about being a little more environmentally friendly. So a lot of the materials you see along the floor and all, a lot of them are recycled and uh, environmentally friendly stuff. This is mm -hmm. like the, the most amazing sunroof I've seen because the whole roof is, is a sunroof. What went into the design idea of, of doing something like that? Well, the whole idea was that we wanted the, the light to cascade into the vehicle, so it would be a very inviting uh, place to be. But it's not actually glass, because glass is pretty heavy, and glass is a, a pretty unforgiving substance. It doesn't like to bend. What this is is a polycarbonate, basically a plastic that we got from GE Plastics, but it's got a little trick to it. It's got a couple of microns of glass, actual glass, glazing the outside. So it's shiny like glass. It doesn't scratch like plastic. It's, it's scratch-resistant like glass, but it's lightweight like plastic. Tell us a bit about when the car is going to come out and and I, I read that it's kind of a commuter's car and um, what would the lifespan of the car be? Well the car was shooting for 2010 for the production version and uh, hopefully the lifespan will be uh, more than today's cars because we're, the battery is supposed to last 10 years we hope the car will last at least that long. So oh, your, your name and, and title? Yes my name is Frank Weber okay. and oh, I'm yeah. the vehicle yeah. line executive for the eFlex architecture in the Volt program. So I'm responsible uh, to make this a success. Okay. The gasoline engine we are using is a one liter turbocharged engine, very small engine uh, okay. together, with a, together with a generator using bio, biofuels. We have also shown, uh, based on the same propulsion architecture, uh, a concept in Frankfurt that was a diesel, uh, a diesel E-Flex version, and so you can. The architecture also provides them diesel provisions. I want to know. Is it? Oh, hang on. Is, it's all gas, electric. Is it gas, electric? <laughs> what is it? The answer: Yes, it is. So it costs more money for the consumer. No. It, no, the answer is will not. It will not. The vehicle might cost more money for the consumer, but to run the vehicle is much cheaper to run it with electricity than with gas. Then why haven't we been doing this for years? Because the battery technology was not ready, and now we have battery technology available that will allow us to go uh, far enough with pure battery and electric drive. This is why it took so so long. And this is successful. We are all going to go on with the electricity uh, way of, uh, it's going to work out? Obviously it hasn't, but you tell me now it's going to work out for everybody. What we think is this is now with the battery technology available, this will be a paradigm shift for the industry and we, you will see that this is a first step uh, for the entire electrification of the vehicle. So gas prices are going to go down. And can you tell me what's your name? Nancy Hogan. Nancy, thank you very much. Thank you. Gas prices are going to go down because of all this new technology? Uh, they will unfortunately not go down because the demand, uh, the global demand for uh, Electric energy cars will go up, but also go for... Go up. Of course it will. Yeah. Like housing costs go up. Yes, but I think this... Yeah, the... What's, what's going to happen? Electricity goes up. So who are you fooling? Who's he fooling? Uh, I don't think we are fooling anybody. What you have to see this. Electricity costs a lot of money. He ain't fooling nobody. Electric cars are going to cost 
American consumers a lot of money. Uh, this is this is correct, but gasoline is also costing a lot of money. So I think this is a very interesting solution for American customers.